During the month of May, these Indianapolis fans fell in love with Kyle Larson today. Here in July, he delivers them a win in the Brickyard 400. The third crown jewel for Kyle Larson, the 11th for Mr. Hendrick and Hendrick Motorsports. Crowd chanting Larson. I told you they fell in love with him during the month of May. Kyle, you've won some big races in your career, but this is Indianapolis. Is this ranked number one now? <laughs> it's, uh, it's for sure up there. Um, like you mentioned, this is just such a prestigious place and such hollowed ground and uh, pretty neat to just to get your an opportunity to race here on the Oval again. And um, what a job by our team. I mean, never gave up at all. And, you know, we had the, you know, the pit stop issue there early on and just fought and dug and, and uh, had things work out. So just uh, can't thank them enough. Hendrickcars.com, Valvoline, Chevrolet, Jen Ramen Bar, Prime, uh, all the fans too. I love, I love you Indiana fans. <laughs> and I know you guys love me too. So how about we come back next May and try and kiss these breaks on the IndyCar? Is that a guarantee you're doing the double again? I'd love to, I'd love to, we'll work on it. So. Uh, I hope we can announce something soon and uh, see you guys all next May. Does this make up for the month of May that you had this year, Kyle, when you left very disappointed? <laughs> it does. I mean, I guess, I guess a, a little bit, you know. I, I wish we could have got to do both and run the 600 because we had a phenomenal <laughs> papaya orange car for that race too. But, um, you know, I think everything just comes full circle and everything's meant to be. And, and today was definitely felt meant to be for us, you know, with the way the strategy was working out. Brad running out of fuel, me and Hareton in the front row and all that. Just uh, a lot had to fall into place and thankfully it did. So I just can't believe it. It's just uh, surreal to win here and I uh, can't wait to kiss these bricks with my team. Rick Hendrick, who's here finally. Um, my family, my friends, everybody. My parents are here. So we'll, uh, we'll be celebrating these next couple weeks. There's only one crown jewel left for Kyle Larson to check off the list. That's the Daytona 500 because now he's a winner at Indianapolis. Well, and Rick, you know, for all Team Penske drivers, the goal is to win for Mr. Penske any weekend, but to try to win here at the Brickyard is the ultimate goal. Losing one that way, how hard is it to process, Ryan? Yeah, so fun. Uh, oh, we had a really good shot to win today. Appreciate Menards and Atlas and Ford for and the 12 group putting us in a position. Gosh, our car was fast and thought we had really good strategy. Kind of was the front guy of, um, you know, having to save a little bit of gas. And, uh, you know, I thought we put ourselves in a great spot. I knew the six was probably going to run out if it went green. And um, when we came to the restart and I couldn't believe they stayed out. Uh, I knew there was no way they were going to make it. And uh, so I obviously chose the top because he might run out in the restart zone. And he runs out coming to coming to the green so he gets to go to pit road and the five gets promoted and uh luck of the day right there i guess i don't know i don't even know what to be mad about i'm I, mad at losing this race because i thought we were in the perfect position but once i lost control of the race and obviously i would have been on the bottom but i thought the six would run out like the restart zone or down the back i don't know but uh stinks to losing that way but appreciate the effort I, I hate we don't get to celebrate with mr penske and everyone at penske here um that stings a lot, but uh, just try to keep going. That's all you can do. Do you see any way of changing that restart situation as late as it happened after the choose? Is there any other way to do it? Yeah, call it off and redo, re-choose, because now you you promote the third place guy, you know, before the second place guy if the leader has problems. Like, that's that's not right. And it's just, I mean, it's dumb luck, you know, right, of where Brad ran out and stuff like that. And at this racetrack where the bottom's preferred, but like, some I don't know. I'm just I'm just upset. I mean, that's just like a, that's a heartbreaker. I mean, we did everything right today. I mean, was in prime position to win and just didn't didn't work out for us and uh, just got unlucky. But uh, gosh, they're just not, not going to sleep very good tonight. I'll tell you that. But uh, like I said, I, I appreciate Team Penske and, and everybody for the fast car. Gosh, we've been super fast and it definitely showed again today and just wasn't meant to be. Ryan Blaney third today, Kim. And Tyler Reddick and his team had a very solid day, led 40 laps, the most of any driver, ultimately come up one spot short in the Brickyard 400. How do you process that? What are the feelings right now? I mean, it, it was uh, it was a great recovery for us. You know, we had our issues uh, beginning stage three, and I thought that was really going to cement our, our finish towards the back. But um, 
we, we just went with a different strategy and just had a really good restart. I was behind the five and the nine, and I got by both of them. And um, unfortunately, that move that Kyle uh, was able to catch a lot of people off guard with today got me as well. So that's the bummer in all of it. We were ahead of him, um, but, but we let him get by us. So obviously, a lot of cars and a lot of things had to happen for us to get second. So. I mean, honestly, it was a good day, but but obviously the return to the brickyard, it's it's tough coming up short one spot. But I, I mean, once we got off turn two there, I knew I was pretty much pretty much it. Um, he was gonna have to make a mistake. So glad we had a good recovery. Another solid points day. Obviously, we didn't really close the gap on on the five um, that much, but a little bit on the nine. So in big picture, it was a great day for our team. Three top three finishes in the last four races. We take this break when we get back from it. Do you feel like this team is playoff ready or what are the things you guys still need to work on? I mean, I thought today was a great recovery. I think that's that's the biggest thing that we've been doing really good right now is uh, we haven't always had the smoothest days, but um, instead of letting them end our days, we found ways to recover from them. Um, what feels like the last couple of months. So it's a great effort by the guys and men and women at 2311. So we'll go into the into our little break, um, ready to just relax for a little bit and recharge get ready to go for the rest of the year. So much consistency we've seen recently from Tyler Reddick and this team. Well, at the end of the day, fifth place for Bubba Wallace was up front for a while there. How would you assess your Brickyard 400? Oh, there's the points. Didn't need to see that. <sighs> um, it was okay. Try not to get run over here behind you. Um, you know, I really put our team behind. Um, starting Friday and Saturday, just not doing a good job in the car. And um, team stuck with me, gave me all the right tools to to work on and gave us good track position there in the middle. Finally got us a stage win. Been 10 years since I got one of those. Um, but all in all, just a, excuse me, a solid day. Definitely what we needed. Um, can have a big sigh of relief going into the Olympic break here. Excited to watch that. A lot of exciting things going on during the break. Reddit getting married. We'll be there for that. Suarez getting married. So congrats to them. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to come out here with a smile, enjoy the two off weeks, get to go home and see my well pregnant wife, um, give her a big hug, baby boy, big hug, and just to have fun. That's uh, that's what I wanted to do last week and continue that for the next, what do we got, 14 left? All about having fun. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube channel.